Today I'm working on my 2008 BMW E90 335i. I'm going to show you guys how to remove your blower motor. And I'll try to make this as easy as possible. No need to remove your cup holders, this trim, or the glove box, or any ducting, and rotate the fan after you've moved this lower panel here to get access to it. So I'm, I'll do my best in this video to demonstrate how to get that blower motor out. And the reason I'm getting it out of my car is it's a little squeaky. I think the bearings have dried up and, you know, before it completely fails, I figured I'd try lubing it up. So first step is going to be to remove the T20 torque screws that are right here. There's one on the left over here. And there's one over here. And then once you get those two down, you, this is just clipped in over here. So you kind of got to relieve that. I got a bunch of stuff here that you normally wouldn't have. And it's all related to my uh, screen mirroring that I do. But you can see other videos on my channel for that. But we want to get this stuff out of the way. I'd suggest you remove the plug for the, the light down there and then we can get this whole piece out of the way now as I said just pay, imagine the stuff's not here on your car now you can see the actual uh, fan okay to start with is you're going to want to remove this uh, power connector here so you squeeze right here get your hands in and this removes and you're going to want to hopefully you can see this there's a tab you want to lift up with your finger and then try to turn the fan. You'll be turning it clockwise. As you can see, that's the tab there. And that's it. So that's all in, that's involved in removing the actual fan from the car. Very easy. None of the duct work has to come out. None of this trim, the glove box, etc. has to come out to be able to get this out. You, the only thing you may have to check for is if you're lifting up on this right here and you can't turn it, it may be that you're, uh, you may have a screw there. A lot of cars don't have that, but if you do, then it should be another T20 Torx. You unscrew that and then you'll be able to lock this, unlock this uh, and rotate it as needed. There's a, you know, you'll be able to see it. Look out for that. But from experience, uh, they don't have, most of these cars don't come with uh, a screw there. So that's all that's involved. It's, you know, it's a five minute job to get this out. I'm going to try to take this apart and see if I can lube the shafts and whatnot to uh, get rid of any squeaking. So, just to get it out of the way, I'm going to take this final stage resistor off. These are also T20 torques. So this video will also show you what's involved in changing your final stage resistor. And then you're going to want a T10 Torx for here. And the way I describe the squeaking noise that this has is kind of like a chirping, high-pitched squeal that changes tone when you turn. And if you put the speed of the fan way up, it kind of goes away, but it's most noticeable when the fan's at a low setting. So I'm just going to try to lift up on this now. You're going to want to be conscious of this, the plug. This is going to pop off. And you can get this plug out of the way. Now you can see the condition of the motor. I believe in here the grease has dried up and it needs some lubrication. And you can see all the dust and whatnot that's built up in there. So I'll try to clean that up and we'll lube it up. So 
in there, right about there, it could be one of the bearings that's squeaky. So I'm not sure if this is the ideal choice, but I need something that's a penetrant to get into these tight spots, so I'm going to try uh, some PB Blaster. It's a little thicker than WD-40, so it should, uh, should get where it needs to go. Hopefully, you know, I've got to be conscious of the smell that this stuff could uh, emit over time. When you spin it up, it works its way in. I had to guess though, this side would be the culprit. This is the side that gets exposed to moisture. These fans aren't very expensive, so I don't mind if this doesn't really work out long term. I'll replace it. It's easy to get to. You can feel the difference though in just doing this front side. Definitely helps with the rotation coming easy. So that's where I think the squeak was coming from. Depending on the load when you're turning left and right, it would come and go. So that should do it. Anyway, this video doesn't really show you a whole lot, it just shows you um, how to get the fan out easy. Because I've seen other walkthroughs that are uh, unnecessarily complicated. It takes two seconds to get it out if you remove that lower cover. You don't need to be messing around with the glove box and whatnot. So I'll get this reassembled and we'll inst install it back in the car. When you're reinstalling this, there's a notch here that lines up with this notch here. So you pass this through and line up with that notch. You can bottom that out and tuck this back here. And replace this cover. One last thing while I have it out, I'm just going to use some Lysol to clean it up. That shouldn't affect the lube that I put in the, in the middle anyway. It's just going to quickly evaporate, but just to freshen things up while you can, right? Okay, we're back at the car now, and I'm going to reinstall this. You kind of got to clear this ducting at an angle before you go up. Let's go fish it with it for a bit. Reinstall the power connector. And let's reinstall the cover underneath here. So that's pretty much it. You know, I was fiddling with the wires for my screen mirroring uh, hardware. Normally you guys wouldn't have that, but that's the easy way to remove your uh, blower motor, change out your blower motor resistor if necessary, 
and lube the fan if needed. Let's go make sure it sounds quiet now. So let's go key on. And... So here, under two and three, you always hear something really faint. It was like kind of like a really high-pitched squeak that would almost give you a headache under the right circumstances. I'm not hearing anything now. So that helped. Not like I said, not like these fans are very expensive, but you know what? Mine's still fine. I figured, you know what? It's super easy to get out. Why don't I just try lubricating it? And also, this video wouldn't hurt as to show people a much easier way to remove the blower motor instead of messing with taking all this out. I don't know why another walkthrough shows that. I found another video on YouTube. It's just so much more work for no reason. I'm kind of baffled as to why that's even out there. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and good luck.